Sandra, now another potential power grab as Democrats consider challenging a congressional race in Iowa even after the Republican winner has taken office. A House committee is weighing whether it will overturn certified election results. Again, certified election results. It involves a contentious Iowa House race where the Republican won by six votes. South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace sits on the House Oversight Committee and joins us now. Congresswoman Mace, you and 123 of your Republican colleagues sent this letter to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. You can see that I've marked this up here because there's a lot in it. One of the things you say is that you are writing to, quote, express our outrage at the activities that you have undertaken as Speaker in the manner of Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks. She won in a certified election by six votes, and now the Speaker is considering unseating her. What do you say? I say that Nancy Pelosi's hypocrisy knows no bounds. Um, what we're seeing today, you see Rita Hart trying to get D.C. politicians to elect her because the Iowa voters just didn't. And, you know, the hypocrisy here, when you see Nancy Pelosi saying that there, there's no voter fraud that exists, yet there was voter fraud, so we've got to overturn the results of this election. And I hate politics. I'm in politics because I hate it. I hate it because of hypocrisy, and that's what we're seeing today. Right. So so what she is doing is, is Hart... Complain. They went through the whole process. Uh, Marionette Miller Meeks was certified the winner. It was very, very close, six votes. But Hart is claiming that there were 22 votes that were not counted. She did not go to court about this. Instead, she went to the House 107 times since 1933 that has happened, but only three times it's been overturned and only once since 1969. So this is some pretty significant action that the Speaker is considering here. Significant and unprecedented. And when you talk about a legally certified election, the votes in Marionette Miller Meek's race were counted, recounted, and in some instances were recounted for a third time again. And so, as you mentioned, Rita Hart didn't go through the court system. That would be the place to adjudicate um, any propensity or any potential voter fraud. She refused to do that. She went straight to D.C., to the Democrats in D.C., to overturn a legally certified election. And if we're going to have um, voting system standards, we've got to have it across the board. It shouldn't be, well, Nancy Pelosi's in power and she wants to have more power. This is a power grab by Nancy Pelosi and D.C. Democrats. Yeah, to that, to that point, in the letter that you and your colleagues sent to Nancy Pelosi, you, you wrote, quote, this is not about what the American people want. This is about what you want. Now, there are even some Democrats who are warning, look, you know, you might get the short-term victory here. You might pick up a seat, but you could have some real problems in November if people get ticked off by what you, they see here. Right. And I can tell you, the American people hate hypocrisy, just like you and I do. And it's not just this hypocrisy on this particular election. I think we're going to have a lot to talk about in two years. Right next, uh, you know, the Biden administration is going to raise taxes on hardworking American people. I think we're going to have a lot to work with in two years. And this is this is troublesome. There have been several Democrats, too, who've spoken out against overturning the results of a legally certified election in Iowa. You had uh, Congressman Pappas out of New Hampshire being one of those. And he's not the only one. Yeah. Congresswoman Nancy Mace, it's always good to get your take on things. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it.